Hi, I'm Louis from LCD Heating and Gas Services. This is just a short video on the Hive Internet Controller. The Hive Internet Controller controls your hot water and your heating. Uh, you can control it from a unit on the wall or on a stand, but you can also use it on your phone, so it's really good. You can control your heating when you're not actually in the house. The Hive Controller comes in three parts. The first part is connected to your Wi-Fi router, so that gives you the option to use it on your phone. So the first part of it is You've got the controller here. This is actually just a receiver. It's a hub, they call it, and it connects onto your internet. And that gives you the ability to use your phone. If the internet was to go down, then you can still use it as a standalone controller. And I'll show you that just now. So this is the other part of the Hive controller. This is your actual programmer. So this is just like a standard wireless programmer. So if your internet was down, or you don't want to use the app on your phone, you would just no use it as a normal standalone controller. So there's got many features here, which I won't go into, but basically you could just use it as a standard uh, controller. What some people worry about is that if this was to fail, how do they get the heating on? So the way you would do that is, you would use the third part of the hive, and this just basically turns it on, turns it off, nothing complicated, but if your internet was to fail, your controller then failing, which is all unlikely, but there is a way around about that, and I'll show you the third part of the hive. So this is the third part of the hive, so if everything else was to fail, or there was a wee glitch in it, a way to get your heating on is by this box here. This is your receiver, this is hardwired into the boiler, so this can't fail. So all you would do is press a button down here, brings a green light on, which then means that it brings a boiler on. So if you're ever stuck that the app's maybe not working right, you maybe even run out of batteries on the hive, there's always a way around about it. So we just come here, press your button, goes green, means the boiler's on, you press it again and it would go off and that means that the boiler would turn off. Hope that helps.